concerns about the homeless population beyond downtown, KXAN has found sprawling camps close to homes in South Austin. Our Kylie McGivern has shed light on some areas, and tonight she takes us to another, where neighbors say they have had concerns for more than a year. She sat down with APD Chief Brian Manley to talk about the big picture and the challenges that come with addressing homeless concerns outside of the city's core. The numbers of homeless is, has grown in the, in the Southwood neighborhood. A neighborhood Maria Solis has called home for more than 20 years. I'm going to be taking you by some really hot spots. The last year she spent trying to draw attention to homeless concerns. Because they're all under these bridges, under here. She says an area church aims to provide assistance, but problems persist. So they just kind of migrate from corner to corner. So yes, I've been harassed going into this Taco Cabana. Solis wants something to be done. There's just no easy answer of what. That's the bitter pill, that there are some with mental health issues. I have no doubt that there are some that are veterans. We have to distinguish between homelessness and the criminal transient element because there truly are, you know, a lot of individuals that are homeless just by circumstance. Chief Brian Manley says that's just one of the challenges his officers face when working to connect the population with proper resources, largely concentrated downtown. We really need to find a way to get them linked up in those areas. For their safety and the safety of neighborhoods they settle in. It's scary to have this right in your backyard. Like a camp we showed Manley on the Williamson Creek Greenbelt. Well, that's clearly one of the more significant encampments. Some, if they're really secluded and tucked away out in the woods and, and, and under the cover of, of brush, those are the ones that will need community to reach out to us and let us know. Manley says they've seen success with the homeless outreach street team, but right now that team is only downtown. If we have to request additional officers to staff it appropriately, you know, to provide this level of service across the entire city, then that's something that we'll do. Something to improve what Solis has seen. Nobody's listening. We reached out to the area's council representative, Ann Kitchen, who told me beyond looking at each homeless camp individually, the city is working to take broader steps, like for the first time, including homelessness in the strategic plan for budgeting. She said that this is significant because rather than just throw dollars and ideas at what is clearly a problem, the city will look at metrics and focus in on what it's trying to accomplish and where. Robert? And we wanted to get a better idea of how big this problem is in the area. We looked and found there have been five homeless-related calls to 311 this year within 200 feet of the Manchac Ben White Boulevard intersection. And all of last year, there were 10 around this area. So far this year, there have been 197 calls across the city of Austin regarding the homeless population. Last year, we ended with 710 calls. We broke down the number of complaints about homeless people in Austin by zip code. You can see that information right now at KXAN.com.